Hey, no matter how hard we try to keep our home clutter free with three sons, as you can imagine, the clutter can really creep up on you fast. So my solution is to get the kids involved as well. Here's my seven tips on how to declutter and keep it that way without getting rid of your kids. Number one, tackle one room at a time. Number two, practice the in-out rule. For every one new item in, get rid of one old item. Number three, make cleaning up fun for your kids. Everyone should be expected to do their job, and that's just part of being part of the family unit. Number four, having a vision for the room you're cleaning. What is this purpose of the room? How do you want it to function and look? Get the kids involved. Number five, teach your kids how to sort and organize. Number six, have a place designed for everything and make sure everyone knows where that thing goes. One of the big pet peeves is scissors go in the scissor drawer instead of you know, working in bed, leaving them in the bed. So when you're done with them, put them back. Number seven, when cleaning out junk or utensil drawers, use the cardboard box test. Have you ever heard of that? Just put everything from the drawer in a box and as you need it, get it out and put it back into the drawer. After a month or two, whatever's left in the box, just get rid of it. Donate it, you don't need it. You didn't use it. Don't let the clutter keep you from inviting friends over. This is a great reason to throw a party. And so when you're freaking out that Aunt Jane is coming over for a visit, clean it up. It's gonna be clean. So I appreciate your time. If you're considering refinancing or purchasing, give me a call and let's get the pre-approval out of the way first and get you out shopping with confidence. Thanks for joining me for another Your Home Connection tip, and I'll see you next week. Have a great week.